First, locate the spot you want, then drive up next to the car parked in front of your intended spot. The two cars should be two and a half to three feet apart. Stop when your side mirror aligns with that car's side mirror. Then turn your steering wheel all the way to the right. Start backing into the spot, but stop when you see the other car's license plate in the middle of your passenger window. Next, turn your wheel all the way to the left. Continue backing into the spot until the car is straight and parallel with the curb. Lastly, straighten out your steering wheel and move forward as needed. First, locate the spot you want, then drive up next to the car parked in front of your intended spot. The two cars should be two and a half to three feet apart. Back up straight until the neighboring car's back end appears in your vent window. Turn your wheel all the way to the right. Start backing into your spot. Stop when you see the entire bumper of the car behind in your left side mirror. Straighten out the steering wheel and back in straight, but stop when your right side mirror aligns with the neighboring car's left tail light. Turn your wheel to the left. Continue backing in until you're parallel with the curb. Lastly, straighten out your steering wheel and move forward as needed. First, locate the spot you want. Then, drive up next to the car parked in front of your intended spot. The two cars should be two and a half to three feet apart. Back up straight until you see the neighboring car's back end in the middle of your back passenger window. Turn your wheel to the right. Start backing in and watch your right side mirror. You'll see a triangle forming from the lines of your car, the curb, and the bottom of the side mirror. When the triangle becomes an equilateral triangle, then stop reversing. Next, straighten out your wheel. Back in straight. You'll see in the passenger side mirror the triangle getting smaller and smaller. Stop when the triangle disappears. Next, turn your wheel all the way to the left. Continue reversing until your car is parallel with the curb. Lastly, straighten out your steering wheel and move forward as needed. First, locate the spot you want. Then drive past it and locate the car that's parked two stalls ahead. The side of your car should be two and a half to three feet away from that car. Align your left side mirror with the other car's side mirror that's farthest from your parking spot. Turn your wheel all the way to the left. Start backing into the spot until you're parallel between the lines. Then straighten out your wheel and finish backing in. Here's one quick way to change a dirty cabin air filter. Open your glove box. Pop off the arm by gently pushing it to the right. Most glove boxes have two side tabs. Release the tabs by pushing in the glove box on the sides. Pull the glove box straight out. You should be able to see your dirty cabin air filter. Squeeze the four tabs of the air filter and pull it out. Then grab the new filter. Find the arrows that indicate the airflow direction and slide the new filter into place until you hear a click. Reinstall your glove box and you're all set. Replace your cabin air filter every 15,000 miles or every year. This will help keep your cabin air clean and clear from contaminants and remove musty odors. Both 5W40 and 10W40 are winter motor oils. So what's the difference? In general, the numbers at the front and end refer to the oil viscosity and operating temperature extremes. The number 40 at the end indicates it's thicker than the average motor oil, which is 30. This can lubricate an engine even when it's hot, unlike other oils whose efficiency decreases with heat. 5W40 motor oil supports higher mileage engines and in locations that experience winters above freezing temperatures. It's much better than 10W40 in starting your engine at cold temperatures down to 5 degrees Celsius, but both may be ineffective when used in freezing climates. What's the difference between 5W40 and 10W40 motor oils? 10W40 motor oil is thicker than 5W40. It can operate at working temperature up to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. This is the preferred motor oil for vehicles that put heavy loads on their engines. At high operating temperatures, 10W40 offers excellent performance in cold climates and is more effective in protecting the engine. But when you're starting an engine in winter temperatures, 5W40 is more reliable and supports lower winter temperatures. The best rule of thumb is to always Please follow your car owner's manual.